Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any videos I produce. I'm excited to be taking a look at this video today. This is the All-Star Strictly Finals with the Carolina Reapers Swing Band at ILHC Europe 2023. Now, this is a newer event, and it doesn't necessarily mean that there are going to be new dancers that are going to be here, but there's going to be a fresh energy and excitement, and I can't wait to see exactly how people are going to perform in this one. So without further ado, let's take a look at this video, and then I'm going to give you guys my big fat bloated opinion on who I think is the winner and why right after this.
that was quite impressive. I really like how it's kind of a smaller group of people pushed together and in this little nucleus and you've got a crowd around them. I like that. It gives me the feeling of a, of a late night dance, almost like you're just out having a great social dance without any of the pretense of performing, but we know they're performing. So it was really cool to see that kind of a mix. So let me tell you who I think is the winner. Okay guys, so there were a lot of different couples that I might have picked if this one couple wasn't in the competition. Now, my favorite couple is Vincenzo and Maria. They were such a delight to watch. What, what was beautiful is how well they were able to transition from sequences that looked like they were about to mess up, but instead moved right into the next phase of movements. This was the type of freeform vulnerability I was looking for throughout the competition. And I appreciate how well Maria was able to match the style of Vincenzo. He typically uses the Lindy Hop technique with a less elastic approach in his joints, which allows movements of contrast to really pop. He typically likes to move and stop a whole lot. And on the other hand, Maria has more of an elastic style that is smooth and allows the viewer to know what's going to happen next based on the delayed pacing of her movement. It's a beautiful approach that highlights the flow of the movement as opposed to moving and stopping. Both are fascinating dichotomies, but I'm most impressed on how well she was able to blend with Vincenzo. That's a very hard thing to do. Another thing I really liked was how well Vincenzo exercised the discipline to stop moving. It's very difficult for leaders who are more flamboyant with their style to know when to pull back just a little bit. I think he showed a tremendous amount of restraint and didn't look like he was fighting to do so. They were my favorite couple by far, and I think they were just amazing. Am I off here? Who do you think was the winner of this competition? Let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to help some of you in my class this week online. Take care.